In this video, I'll transform a storyboard into a moving shot to be used in an animatic. And for that, I'm going to use After Effects and Photoshop. So for starters, here's the storyboard. Fade from black, outside the train, the tunnel lights sweep past, slowing down as they get brighter. The train rolls into the well-lit station. The train stops. In silhouette, we see the person outside. The doors open. The person starts moving into the train. The person entering the train is Franz. As he steps into the train, Franz looks off to the right. So that's basically the entire shot. In Photoshop, I've imported all the frames from the storyboard. And they're all overlaid on each other, it seems. But I actually cut them all into separate layers. So we have a background. We have Franz cut out with a mask. We have the subway car one of the doors, the other door, and if we turn all that on we have Franz sitting outside behind the door. Then I also have a medium of Franz also cut out and a close-up also cut out. I'm going to import that Photoshop file into After Effects. This is the project window. I double click and get the import file dialog. This is scene one shot one Photoshop. That's the file I just showed in Photoshop and I'm going to open it, but I'm going to Im import it as a composition that retains the layer sizes. Retain layer sizes is important to keep everything um, visible that's outside of the frame in the Photoshop composition at this point. Uh, editor layer styles is, this, is irrelevant because there are no layer styles in this Photoshop file. So here's my shot and it comes in as a composition. It also comes in as all separate layers. The composition has the right size because my Photoshop file has the right size. It's 1280 by 720. Now I'd like to work in 24 frames a second for this um, animatic. So I'm going to open up my composition by double clicking on it. It opens up in the timeline and on the right of the timeline there's a, a menu where you can get composition settings. It automatically went to HD because ACV because that, that's what it recognized it as. I'm going to make it 24 frames a second. There's absolutely nothing moving now, and it also ended up being 30 seconds, which is a bit long, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to turn off the top layers to get to our opening shot. First thing we need to do is create the illusion that the train is stopping and I'm doing this by moving Franz to the side. You can simply grab him in the window and move him. You can also go to his layer and hit the P for position and you get the X and the Y position. And you also get the stopwatch there and that allows you to animate something over time in, for, in After Effects. So if I'm Say I want to opening to last about two seconds. I'm just moving the cursor out there. I'm going to hit position to set a keyframe because this is where I want it to end up. I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm just going to slide him out of, out of shot by just dragging on the number and say, okay, now he's just out of shot. We get the keyframes here. The second keyframe is now linear movement. And from the second keyframe, I'm going to switch that one over to and ease in, easing into that second keyframe. So we see he's sliding in. Now if I hit zero, you can preview it, preview it in real time. I get rendered real quick and then but that's the shot. Now I say I'm happy with that. Now I want to open up my doors. So as soon as the change goes to stop a few frames later, I'm going to take my subway car door, uh, subway car doors, these two, and these names are actually from the Photoshop layers. The position on these two, again hitting P to get to them. Um, I know this is the final, this is the position where they are in when they need to open, so I'm going to set a keyframe and they're going to take about a second and a half, two seconds to open, just a rough, get, rough guess. The door on the left should go to the left. And the door on the right should go to the right. As soon as you have something animated and you move it in After Effects, a keyframe gets created. So you don't need to manually set those keyframes. 
there's something odd the doors are actually inside of the train car which is usually not the case so my subway car I'm going to take that layer and just drag it on top of the doors so the doors are now behind or outside the subway car again I'm going to hit zero you first saw a really fast move that was a preview render and now it has been rendered you can just play it in basically in real time okay now he needs to get into the car so the doors open and he actually is a bit um, impatient so he starts moving just before the doors open so Franz is going to move into the car so I'm going to set another keyframe and that I'm going to do that by hitting the little diamond or over here and it's going to take a few seconds to get in so I'm now on five seconds now he needs to go get, get in to match this position of Franz medium to match that up I'm just going to go to the opacity of Franz medium so I'm hitting T to get to the opacity you can't hit O because O it was already taken for the out point so T transparency gets you opacity I'm going to tone that down to about 50% so I can see both now I'm going to take my friends and I not only need to animate the position I also need to animate the scale so I'm going to hit shift s which also opens the scale for me and I'm just going to set a keyframe here for position with these triangles I can go back and forth to my previous and next keyframe so I'm going to back to the previous keyframe and setting a keyframe there for scale I am starting to animate scale by hitting the stopwatch because he needs to grow or get closer so say he needs to get about this big but then he needs to come down and to the side a little bit maybe up a bit something like this this sort of matches now I match these two up I now also want them to move together making two, la two layers move together in After Effects you can simply parent them so I'm going to parent the medium shot to the uh, long shot of Mr. Franz or long medium. So now they're actually moving together. So he's moving into the train car, and at this point, I want to switch between the. Um, want to switch to the medium shot. Actually, as soon as he sort of hits the edge of the screen, which I'm not sure I'm seeing because I want to fit him. Yes, I am actually seeing the edge. So Franz medium he's going to appear right here so at this point I'm going to turn him off and have to hit his transparency hit the transparency stopwatch and he's going to appear just as he gets close pretty quickly Whoop. now you'll see you'll still see the other one behind here so at the end I'm going to fade out so for front and I also need the opacity so shift T I'm going to fade out France as soon as he gets close. Basically switching those two layers. If I preview this, and there you go, he gets close. Now the only thing we need to do is get him even more close and look to the other side. So we need to match this up with France really close, from medium to France close. So he's going to move on and match France to match him. We need to set his transparency to say 50%. I see that this is actually my medium is actually on 98%. It needs to be on 100. So here we're going to match them up. I'm not going to animate Franz medium because he is parented to Franz. So I'll go to the original front layer, scale that one up, and bring it down, and move it a little bit to the side. And I'm doing this so I have only one layer that I'm actually animating, and not two. So this is it's not quite right, but this is sort of matched up. So now when they now that they're matched up, I'm going to parent fronts close to the other fronts. So all the Francis are now together, and then you can see they're actually moving all together. 
and I just need to at the point where he sort of gets full screen back here switch to the other fronts so fronts here is going to be the front the close-up is going to be uh, a zero opacity it's going to fade in pretty quickly it should be exactly zero and I'm going to get rid of the medium shot right here and it's going to be gone I have a little bit of overlap where they're both fully visible and that's so you can't at no point can see through them which would be kind of awkward I'm going to hit zero it renders and the train stops doors open France comes in and looks through the side I hit spacebar to stop my preview this would be the end so in my timeline I'm going to hit N to set the end of the work area and if I know this is correct I can trim my composition to the work area and have a composition that's the exact right length now once I'm happy with this I'm going to render it out and edit the whole thing together in Premiere but that's another story